I'm a little flustered because my guest this morning is quite exciting. Uh, but of course, we do remind you that today is brought to you courtesy of Send Home. Our friends at Send Home remind you that if you are in South Africa, you can send money home to your relatives, your loved ones, your friends, your partners back here in Zimbabwe. And they can access over 100 centers and get their hard cash immediately. And of course, it is for some of the lowest rates available. Uh, now, don't forget, of course, that if you have to download the app, you have to download the application so you can get access to all these services as well. And, you know, just be able to keep track of what's happening around you. That is courtesy of our friends at Ascend Home. Now, my guest this morning is the nation's favorite. I can say that comfortably and confidently. Her name is Gemma and I don't want to preempt her too much. So good morning, Gemma. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. I like, I like this. Thank thing. you. Your, Your house, house is nice stone, and... girl. Yes. Mm. It looked familiar. We sat down with Benai a few weeks back. That definitely looks like one of her pieces. Yes. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Keeping busy. Yeah. You keep, keeping very busy. <laughs> very busy. But before we get to how busy you've been over the last couple of weeks, how are you enjoying the entertainment industry? Yeah. You know, I think it was exactly what I was mean to do I can't imagine doing anything else and I think Zim right now is a really exciting space musically everyone is working and creating amazing stuff and there really is a buzz um, and and Afrobeats in general around the world you know mm. it's an exciting time for Africa and music oh wow mm. okay all right was this the space I know you say it, you can't imagine yourself doing anything else but had did you plan this is, is this where you thought you would head up anyway I don't know if planning is what I what, what I would say but you know, I was I was playing from such a young age that I can't really... It just felt like the thing that I always did. You know, I was writing music and playing when I was really young, and, mm. I, and I'm still doing that same thing. It just feels like a part of life, really. Mm. Do you write <laughs> your own music? Yeah. All of it? Yes. Wow. So I've written with people, obviously, as well, mm. um, and that's really fun to collaborate and things like that. Um, but, yeah, I write. Oh, <laughs> love it, love it. You, you look to me like somebody who has, like hidden talents and stuff and stuff what other talents do you have um i do latin and ballroom dancing actually and i used really? to do ballet as well yeah so i do some dancing i paint as well i love oh. to paint oh um yeah i'd say <laughs> like oh it's just this just 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 little that. Little. La -la. <laughs> La -la. love that i was painting over the weekend i was learning how to paint over the weekend it's quite, amazing it's quite soothing yeah it's really fun quite therapeutic i enjoyed yeah. that process mm. You were at Shoko Festival while I was painting. How was that? Oh my gosh, Shoko was incredible. Honestly, Chi Town pulled up. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. It was honestly amazing. Yeah, the crowd was incredible. I watched Nati O as well after me, and that was really great. So yeah, Shoko, Shoko this year was amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I saw you, I saw, like got a glimpse of your performance, and there's a part where you went on your knees and you were all... Girl. Did you get emotional? Girl, I had tears in my eyes. That was the first time that I performed in Dicha Tarisa and just, yeah, the power of that, that song. I mm. just, I did, uh, yeah. Um, Where did that song come from? You know, in Dicha Tarisa it was a song that I wrote when I was going through something pretty rough earlier this year and I was sort of in a place where I felt backed into a corner of hopelessness and, mm. and I just cried out to God and I was like I just kept saying this prayer like when 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 life is feeling heavy I'm mm. just gonna look to God that's the only option mm. um, and yeah that that prayer just sort of turned into into a song um, and definitely a very vulnerable and very real moment for me mm. you know behind the scenes because mm. um, you always see this energetic full of life gem but um, you know, life, li life is lifing in the background mm. as well. And, and I was struggling, but I still had to show up as Gemma. Mm. Um, and that was this moment of like, okay, cool. Let's, let's put the healing through music, which mm. it always has been for me. You know, mm. I started writing when I was young and I wasn't writing for any other purpose other than it felt good and it felt um, therapeutic. Mm. And I think Kanji Chatarisa was a moment of of that of 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 healing for me mm, mm. Mm -hmm. and, you know for me it's it's very profound that you mentioned this um, because a lot of people are are afraid to to acknowledge that look certain pieces of beauty have come from certain areas of mm. darkness where are you now um in terms of of that space yeah i think i think um definitely 
this this song has been a big part of my journey in healing and and just the idea of lifting my eyes and looking to God and mm. all of it mm. um, and I think I'm definitely seeing now the the presence um, that he has had in this in this um, healing journey but mm. yeah I think it feels like it feels like the start of a new of a new year for me mm. this month mm. um, yeah. And I think we agree with you. I mean, 140,000 views in four days. That's amazing. It's How been do you feel? incredible. I'm honestly blown away. I can't, I, it is, un, I have no words. The, the response to Ndicha Tarisa, um, the audio has been on TikTok for a week. Mm. I released it a few days early and it's had over 10 million views. Oh, wow. It's unbelievable. There's just something about this song um, that resonates. Um, and that, that's, that's superhuman. That's not me at all. Mm. That's definitely mm. got to be God. Mm. I, th I think when we listen to it, really, it's the relativity because we're all going through different things mm. in different, uh, different times, different spaces, um, or are coming from a dark place and just realizing that, oh, you know what? You're not alone in this. You know, no. you, you can look to God and you can get that strength that you need and he will carry you through um and it's i like to say to um audrey our resident bookworm that look it's it's a bad day not a bad life yeah. uh, but in the moment you forget that and it really does feel overwhelming hundred uh, percent apart from writing music what are some of your other coping me mechanisms that kind of help you get out of dark spaces yeah i like to get outside mm. fresh air sunshine things like that definitely um nature you know me i'm always out in the bush mm. um and then exercise to be honest i like to run um I don't know. I think the endorphins and things like that help a lot. <laughs> they help you. Yeah. Yeah. I would yeah. say. So you've released, so four days ago, you released the first visualizer. Um, and then you're going to release a second one. Yes, today actually. So you guys are the first ones who are going to see it, which is so exciting. Perfect. Everybody has been asking for the lyrics. Mm. So we are dropping a lyric video this morning. Um, and I decided to not only do the official lyrics, but mm. an English or Shana translation, depending, mm -hmm. and a Ndebele translation. Wow. So it's got two translations that go the whole way through as well. Mm. Um, just because, yeah, I wanted to make sure it's accessible um, and, and people can also, you know, praise and worship in their own language. Oh, wow. Mm. How important is that to you, being able to, to not only speak to a wide audience, but speak to them in in languages that they that they understand, languages that they've grown up on, that they relate easier to. You know, language is incredibly important. Mm. Um, I think it's it's something that, like music, can break a lot of barriers. That can really just connect with people because we communicate. Mm. That is what it is. That's what music is. That's what language is. It's communication. And and humans innately, we 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 love connection and we love understanding each other. Mm. Um, and I mean, when I write stuff in Shana, sometimes and people ask for a translation, I'm like, but it doesn't hit the same. <laughs> you know? There's something about when you write um, something poetically in a, sp in a specific language that mm. it really hits, um, and yeah, I just I just think it's it's a song that I want everybody to to hear. And sometimes I feel like when you write something hard mm. and when you write something very vulnerable and very real, um, you're writing it out of a place of necessity mm. and. Who's to say you're the only person who needs to hear that? Right, yeah. right, right. So, Gemma, um, today you release the um, a lyric visualizer. Uh, what next? What are we seeing in the next couple of weeks in terms of work from Gemma? So, I have been in the studio. I've been working really hard and preparing a whole amazing thing that I wish I could show you and I can't yet but I'm so excited um, but let's just say this is the beginning all right yes oh, we are excited we are extremely excited very quickly for somebody who doesn't know what shows they can catch you at um, over the next uh, we're heading into silly season so over this whole season what are some of the upcoming events that we can spot you at yes so I'm gonna be in Victoria Falls on the 14th of October mm -hmm. so if anybody is there I'm gonna be at the River Brewing Company for their anniversary I'm also going to be at um, the Castle Lagerbrei, which is later in the month. I think it's on the 21st. Mm. Um, and then I'm going to be posting my full show schedule on my platforms because there's lots coming up. Ooh.